the steps for this one. So it says x plus 3 half squared equals 4 times y minus 2. The first thing I want to do is determine what kind of parabola am I going to be dealing with. Am I going to be dealing with a parabola that's going to be vertical, opens up or opens down, or one that's going to be opens to the right or opens to the left? So I take a look at, the, at my form and I say, all right, it's going to be a vertical parabola, right? So I'm going to write that down because when I'm doing these problems, I'm going to have to, it's different for a vertical and a horizontal parabola. So I do not want to forget it and start doing the information for the other parabola. I need to constantly keep that in my mind. Um, the next thing is to write in, in that form. And is this looking in the standard form? Yeah, it is, right? And actually, let's just double check. Let's just write the standard form I had. X minus um, H squared equals 4P times Y minus K. All right, that's our standard form that we wrote down on there. So it's in the format, so I don't need to change anything like that first problem I did. So now we just need to determine our points, right? So just determine our, um, or, uh, so just kind of uh, interpret our values. So the first one is our vertex. So the vertex, even if you guys remember when we did vertex form of a parabola, is h comma k, right? Yeah. So our vertex for this one is going to be a negative 3 halves comma 2. And please remember, since it's your h minus h and y minus k, you're going to be taking the opposite of those values. All right. For me to prove my point here, let's say if I said it's x minus h, okay, and so if I have x plus three, the value of my h, okay, be x minus a negative three. So if you were to write x plus three as a subtraction problem, you would write it as x minus negative three. Therefore, the value of h in this problem is a negative 3. No, Does that make sense? It's plus 3. So it's, so it's going to be negative 3. Okay. Right, exactly. Yeah. So if you don't want to worry about it this way, just say, just think, oh, it's always the opposite. Okay? And that's, I mean, that's your basic thing, but that's why I got negative 3 halves and a positive 2. Okay? Don't write in positive 3 halves, negative 2. That's a, just a basic mistake we make. Um, the next thing we want to do is it says, we need to determine the focus and the directrix. Well, remember, ladies and gentlemen, so we have a vertical parabola, right? So I don't know how this parabola looks. It either opens up or it opens down. The one thing I do know is that that parabola is going to have a focus, and it's also going to have a directrix. And the distance from the focus to the directrix, or I'm sorry, from the focus to the vertex is p. So I need to determine what is my p value. So if I look at this in this formula, I have 4p in the standard form, and then right here, the number that's multiplied by y is actually 4p equals 4. So now I want to find the value of p, because that's going to help me find my vertex. All right? So I do 4p divided by 4, so now I'm find the value of p. I get p equals 1. So now, which one of these parabolas makes sense? Um, would p, if p equals 1, that means the distance is going to be up 1, right? So it can't be down 1. So therefore, that is not going to be my parabola. So now at least I know what my vertex is looking like, or at least my p value is my, sorry, at least I know what now my parabola is going to look like. Um, however, we have a different vertex, right? We have a vertex of negative 3 halves comma 2. So let's write that out here real quick. So I have negative 3 halves, and then up 2. Okay, And I know it opens upwards. So right now, I have my vertex, which is negative 3 halves, comma 2. And then I just said the p-value is up 1. So that's going to tell me my distance to go up to find my vertex, which is on my axis of symmetry. So that's going to be my focus. Now, what is going to be the 
direction of my focus. I didn't move it left or right at all. All I did was I shifted it up one. So to find the focus, the formula for a vertical is, if you guys remember, H, K plus <coughs> P, right? Well, I know my K is now two, right? So it's going to be eight, I'm sorry, H is negative three halves, comma, two plus one. Which is that point, one, two, three, focus. Does everybody see how I got that? Yeah. And then the directrix is very much the same thing. But remember, the directrix is now your P distance in the opposite direction. So rather than saying uh, my directrix for a vertical is going to be a horizontal, so it's going to be Y equals now K minus P. So Y equals 2 minus 1, Y equals 1. And therefore, now I'll go to my graph, which is very horribly slanted, and I'll go up to 1, and I'll draw a line and say that's my directrix. Okay, so I have my vertex, which I found, which is my h and my k. I determined the value of p, and that determined the value of p for a sense I knew it was a vertical parabola, that just told me to add or subtract or to find my focus, and, sorry, told me to add and subtract to my y coordinate of my vertex. Add and subtract to my y coordinate of my vertex um, to find my focus, yes? How did I get from negative 2 to 2? Um, remember it says y minus 2, right? But the formula says y minus um, k. Um, so what I want to do is, if I was going to kind of rewrite that, is... Um, what? Did you make it equal 0? Like, what's in the parentheses? Yeah, you, yeah, the other way you could, I I didn't go and teach you the thing, but you can also say that, yes, y equals 0. So therefore, the actual value of y is equal to 2. And yeah, that isn't something I previously taught you guys, but if you remember it from the class, the only way you can always do it is set those equal to 0 and then solve for your value. And that will tell you actually what the value of your um, your k is actually going to be, uh, will be 2. But yeah, that's another way I did go through. Um, but for if you just want to, break it down, just make it very simple. Just always, since it's x minus h, you're going to be using the opposite value of whatever's inside. So that would be the negative and that would be the positive. If you just want to simplify it for right now, just always use the opposite. But besides that, ladies and gentlemen, we have, we found our focus, we found our vertex, and we found our directrix. And that's it. All right. Yes? Can I have a drink? Can you want to get a drink? Can I have a drink? Oh, of course. Can you still feel your phone?